Hi, this is Ilfat from imedicalapps.com. Uh, we're going to be reviewing uh, Monster Anatomy HD Lower Limb for the Apple iPad. Um, imedicalapps.com are a group of physicians and medical students, and we review mobile medical technology. So those of you uh, who aren't familiar with uh, Monster Anatomy's Lower Limb app, um, you might remember it from all the iPad commercials that you've been seeing for the past couple months. Uh, the iPad commercials that say you know, iPad is medical, iPad is educational, they've been showing this app um, pretty frequently. And one of the main reasons is because it's, it's kind of a cool app to use. Um, and they often show uh, this main feature of the application, the ability to look at cross-sectional radiographic images and scroll up and down. And it's a learning application as well. You're able to see different types of structures and vessels and muscles and um, through different parts of the lower limb anatomy. So let's start from the top. Let's start with uh, the hip. Um, so we scroll down here a little bit and uh, let's select muscles. Um, so if you select muscles, uh, you're able to um, look at you know the various different muscles in this area, the gluteus minimus, uh, and you just you know, click on these spots, uh, gluteus medius, and it's a nice way to quiz yourself as well. Um, doing you know self quizzes you don't by highlighting these circles um, and you can also follow so let's follow the gluteus medius muscle and you can follow that down and you can see where it ends up and you can also see um, you know nerves associated uh, with anatomy as well uh, there's that option right here you have the option to see bones joints muscles vessels and nerves so if you want to follow some of these nerves um, in relation to anatomy as well, you know, you have the all important, you know, the pedendal nerve uh, that you, that you dig through a lot in gross anatomy to find. Um, and, you know, just in general, a bunch of different nerves, you know, the obturator nerve um, and, you know, some of these different nerves that are essential for um, innervating, um, innervating uh, muscles, uh, sciatic nerve, you can follow that through. So you can see how you know you have the sciatic nerve; it gets a little bit highlighted uh, in the green there, and you can follow that through. And you can see how this could be useful for um, explaining to a patient um, uh, what explaining to a patient um, key anatomy. You know, if they've got um, sciatic nerve issues, you can go ahead and show them you know how it uh, goes through their muscle. The other thing is you can zoom in um, on the anatomy as well to get a better picture, which is a nice feature, using multi-touch, and pinch to zoom. So the thigh is not it. Uh, you also have you know, the knee, the leg, the ankle, and the foot. And also of note, um, you know, if you're at the hip, um, you can view the axial, which is you know, this cross-sectional. You can view coronal, and you can view uh, you know, coronal. You can do left to right, uh, and you can view sagittal images as well. Of, of the hip right here. And the application crashed on me. Um, and that's something that unfortunately I was going to get into later, but it's one of the knocks of the application. It's not that stable. Hopefully they can fix this with some, uh, some more updates. But if you use it for more than a few minutes, it's, it's bound to crash on you. Um, so let's try to take off and go back to where we left off. Um, so let's go to the knees. So the nice thing here is you can go to the knees and you can actually click on joints here. And, you know, if you're orthopod or your family doc and trying to explain to a patient who has, you know, menisci issues, um, you can show, you know, this is a lateral menisci. Uh, you can show, this is a beautiful image right here. This is something that um, you get uh, in gross anatomy uh, during the labs. You learn a great deal of uh, the knee anatomy, um, the medial menisci. Um, some, you know, great shot here. And you can just go through. Um, different types of ligaments here with patients uh, potentially to show them um, if they're having you know knee pain on valgus or you know movement or other different types of movements um, so let's go to the ankle um, you can learn some of that key anatomy click on bones uh, let's get a better image right here um, let's get a sagittal image right here and you can go through and you know learn some key anatomy here um, by looking at the different bones, highlighting them. Uh, you have the foot as well that you can go through. 
now uh, this application uh, is, uh, you know, I mentioned some of the positives about it, uh, really, you know, really nice user interface. Uh, you're able, you, this, you know, this feature right here, oh, crashed on me again. Um, and let's wait for it to load. So I mentioned, you know, the really nice user interface of the application. Um, really just a beautiful way to view anatomy, but you know, if you're looking at the hip here, you, you only view one section of the radiographic image, which uh, in radiology, it's all about symmetry. So if you're trying to use this application to help you, you know, beef up your CT uh, viewing skills, uh, might not be ideal. And we'd, you know, we'd love to see um, the other side as well presented here and, you know, making use of this real estate a little bit more would be great. The other problem is this is only the lower limb. Um, the application itself uh, costs $18.99 um, and you're only getting the lower limb. So if you're a medical student or if you're learning um, uh, you know, gross anatomy, uh, you're going to be doing um, this usually with you know, the extremity section and you can only do the lower extremity here. You can't do the upper extremity. And that's oftentimes you know, presented as a full block, so you can't even use it for the whole block that you're learning from. Um, and the price, you know, a little bit, it's eighteen ninety nine, so it's kind of up to you to decide if uh, the application is worth it or not uh, for you to buy uh, if you're learning gross anatomy. Uh, now, um, in terms of utility for medical professionals, uh, it's definitely huge potential there. If you want to sit down with patients, show them, um, different uh, pathological issues that uh, are associated with uh, the anatomy, you can definitely do that with this application. And patients, you know, they would appreciate it as well. Oftentimes you go through a CT image with them, um, but this application gives you a whole new level of control. And that is about the third time I believe this application has crashed on me. Um, usually it's actually it's crashing a lot more than the... Um, than it usually does. It's usually a little relatively more stable, but um, as I mentioned from the beginning, um, hopefully they'll fix it with uh, some more updates. So who's it for? I already mentioned your know, medical students and healthcare professionals who uh, are learning gross anatomy, also for healthcare professionals who want to show patients um, different pathological issues. It's a really cool application to use. Uh, the knocks on it are, you know, as I mentioned, a bit of an unstable application. Hopefully, that'll be fixed with updates. Uh, it's eighteen ninety nine, so you and it only gives you lower limb anatomy and only one side of lower limb anatomy. So you're gonna have to decide if that's worth it for you. And uh, and that's and those are really the main points. Um, so uh, feel free to visit our website imedicalapps.com. And we'll have a full text review with some uh, screenshots of this application as well. I um, hope you enjoyed the review, and we'll see you later.